Welcome back to a new Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. And in this one, we will be creating this snake game that you are seeing with your eyes. We can collect apples. We can move around like a snake in a retro way. Like we all love it, huh? And we can go like teleporting things, you know? Oh boy, and let me tell you. Let's first like this video and subscribe before I throw this pig away through my window. I'm giving him the last chance now. So be quick. I said quick. Good. Now that we're done with that intro, let me just tell you real quick again what we will be doing in this tutorial. So. We got this beautiful snake moving around, and we can move with it as well in a retro Nokia gameplay <laughs> way, you know. And um, we can go like teleporting from the right wall to the left wall. And I will show you everything you have to know to create this in the fastest way possible. So stick around, would you? Good. Now that we have the intro out of the way, we're going to start a new project by doing it in the best way possible. And you can do that by pressing your, over here on new, new blank, and name the project as you want. I'm gonna name it Boss Alex 123. And choose the folder where you want to save it. And then press on let's go. Congratulations, you have made it to the workspace. Now that you're in a workspace, just go to your room one and create the width to be dividable by 32. So let's say like 672, as you can see. And the height has to be dividable as well by 32 with no rest. Good. And then just create two sprites uh, for the snake head and one for the body. It has to be 32 for the height and 32 for the width. The This body here, the snake head, has to be middle center over here. And for the SBR body, it doesn't matter what it is. Good, and then go to your room one and just drag your snake in. And you're gonna have to ho hold uh, CTRL while you're moving him. So you can put him straight into this one square. Doesn't matter which one, but just instead of one of those squares. Good. Just, then they just save and then check if everything works by pressing run. If everything is working, we can start with the coding. That's the fun part, oh yeah. Actually no boss, We before we start with the coding, <laughs> we have to create another sprite and another object. So let's go to SBR, uh, uh, create a sprite, and go to SBR Apple, and then we just do 16 by 16. Here you just put 16, apply, and then you draw a beautiful apple. And make sure it hits every corner at least, you know. Looks good, looks better. And over here just do middle center, that's it. Assign that to the OBJ Apple and go to add event create. And this is my create event. I will just tell you real quick, simple what it does. It just searches in the room where it should spawn between 32x and um, room height, room width minus uh, 32 and the Y axis is the same thing pretty much. And yeah, that's it. Good. And then you go to destroy and when it gets destroyed by our snake, and I will show you that code as well how that will happen. We'll just put that inside of here, and that's it. Boom. Done. Good. Pretty much does only that at, uh, after it gets destroyed, it searches as well. Again, uh, where it should spawn the signs X and Y axis, and then we just do instance, instance create layer. So we just create another object of itself, OBJ Apple, inside of that layer instances. Good. Now let's go to Rover room one and put your apple inside of there and check if it works press R button oh we didn't do that oh let's do that real quick go to our OBJ snake go to add event go to uh, key press there we go letters and then R for restart and then game underscore restart two brackets and boom semicolon save play Pretty much when we press the R button, we just restart the game. So we always can see how it looks like. Good, great, that works perfectly fine. And then I go to room one, make sure, as I said, inside of those brackets, Apple doesn't matter. Good. 
And then we go to a OBJ snake, and now we just do the create event for uh, OBJ snake and a step event. And that's it pretty much, almost. There is one more thing we have to do. Collisions, OBJ apple, and then we do inside of here something as well. It's very important too. Let's go first of all to create event for the snake. Good, let me just pick out my coat real quick. And no, I'm not gonna cut this video. You're gonna watch the full whole thing. You're gonna have fun with me. Good. Paste that inside of here. This is not important. This is only for music. You can you can do that and just uh, create oh, go over here, create and uh, choose sound, and then you will be able to go over here and press over this to choose your file or your MP3, whatever. And uh, just go to your snake again and type inside of here the name of the sound. So in my case, sound one would work. But we're gonna delete that and just do here two slashes. There we go. So we create a comment. So now we just over here have the move speed. So pretty much this is 60, 60 times 0.2, and you get something, right? I I don't want to do that, the math now. And pretty much this, the lower the uh, the the number here, uh, the faster our body will move because the move timer gets uh, decreased every time when it hits zero. Our player moves, so you know. The closer to zero, the better, the faster. Good. And the direction at the start will be up. Straight uppity dubbity tubbity. Good. And the points at the start will obviously be zero and the start body part three. You know, every single block we got. I said three. Number one is overhead, I think. I'm not so sure, but we will see. Okay, guys, now calm down. Calm down, I said. Good. And inside of your body part, we just declare this list. Uh, we just say OBJ head is zero inside of this list. Good. And pretty much this runs every time until star body part isn't reached so until i isn't three it's one because zero is our head and we don't need to start from zero but from one good it's pretty much just uh creates another body um in the layer instances obj body as you can see but we're gonna do another oh we, we forgot to create the object obj body maybe somebody already did that congrats little buddy obj body great and go to obj body and just assign the sprite great you don't have to pull this inside of here we don't want that we go back to room one uh go to back to our obj snake and great now it should work perfectly fine just still doesn't really know uh what obj head is because we don't have obj head we have obj snake we can call it but obj snake head so you understand a little bit better and name now this snake head great and we're gonna copy that and okay no we don't need to that's fine good and obj body great let's save that and now we still do not use those two things but we're gonna do that in the step event we're gonna have the movement over there good save again great now what we have to do is we have to go step event and do this code no no i'm not gonna cut we're gonna stay right at here, here, my pig is going to entertain you. Say something, you little prick. I said, say something. Okay, sorry. Great. Good, now I already found the code while my pig entertained you. I hope so, right guys? <laughs> Good. And we're just going to copy-paste that and put it right in. Just like that. Boom. It's a bit code. It's a bit code, you know. It took a little bit of time, or uh, until I didn't copy everything. Okay, pretty much the move timer gets less and less and less, and this is pretty much the easiest movement you have ever seen. We just say um, if, when we press W, our image angle will not look, will not be, if, and if it's not uh, 180 degrees. So what do we mean with 180 degrees? If it is not looking down. Okay, so. Uh, Pretty much this is zero if it was um, flipped so 90 and then 180 okay so if we're looking down we don't want to go with the snake while we're looking going down immediately up because in the game it's not like that and it won't really work you will die immediately immediately okay good let's go back to our snake head and so pretty much this is the movement okay and 
this is just uh, a string. We say direction equals uh, up, okay? And if direction equals up, you can say ups, doesn't matter. We just say it's up. Yeah, so if there, if move timer is zero, so if it hits zero, finally, uh, this move timer we got over here, it's calculated with our move speed times room speed. Uh, it does the movement once, you know, every time it gets zero because we, at the end, just give the move timer to be the same thing as it was at the start. Good. And now what we have to do is we go over here and declare our position from our bot, uh, from our snake head. We have to do that because the movement won't really work without that. So what will happen if we start now? Will it crash? Let's see. No, oh, this doesn't look good. But let me show you why as well. But at the end. Good. Now that we have that, we just have to go over here. Where is that now? Um, good. Move timer. Great. So if move timer is zero, we say uh, the previous expert popped up. That's my part. So I'm going to do that. I say go outside. For that, that's your one. I'm behind you. And I'm telling you, you should go there where I was. So I'm pretty much decreasing you once, and you're automatically because your brother for some reason decreasing as well. And you, you get, I get, I get farther from you. Good. The next part we have to do is we have to declare this um, variable to be our x and our y. So we save the position so we know later on um, to save the last position from our head. So we can give the position to our uh, body parts. It's so pretty much uh, every time it hits zero, yeah, it uh, moves once everything. Uh, not everything, my head. And this is pretty much the other part. So this is all the time. Good. Yeah, and uh, there's not much to go then. One more thing to fix, as we saw it, uh, when we start with the game, we have this going on. We don't want that, but at least, uh, yeah, we, the apple is not even getting destroyed. So pretty much there is one more thing we have to do. Actually, two things, buddy. How many times do you call your buddy? Not even my buddy. Maybe you are. Let's see. I'm gonna do middle center, okay? Middle center. Save and boom. There we go. Now it's working perfectly fine. I hope I didn't say some bullshit ass crap at the start, like, um, it doesn't matter, but it matters. It has to be in the middle. Good, now we can still eat uh, the apple, but, um, you know, it's very easy. You have to do one little thing. I'm going to show you in a bit. Good. So there is one more thing we have actually to do. And there that is go to OBJ uh, Snakehead. And um, just pretty much add event and go to collision, object, OBJ Apple. And put this inside up here. Pretty much we say when we collide with the OBJ Apple, we destroy it with utter. You have to say utter because if you don't say utter, it will just destroy the OBJ Snakehead. And points plus equal one, and we just uh, save where it should spawn, and that's it. Let's go. Good. Now let's go to eat an apple, and we see it decreases one more. We get one more body part, and what happens if we hit ourselves? Nothing. We still have to declare that. And we still do not have the teleportation. Now we got the movement. Good. Now for the. Uh, death event we just have to go over here collision with our obj body and we just say instance destroy and boom that's it now we just have to do four teleporters so let's get, do a real quick sprite okay spr teleporter boom added image given color as you wish it doesn't matter and then would we just go through rooms room one and oh create a new object real quick obj teleporter boom room one and then we just drag the teleporter in oh first of all we got to give them the sprite now we can do drag the teleporter in let's uh, drag it like that yeah it's fine it's fine good now this is the left teleporter so we gotta rename that teleporter left good now let's just duplicate that by pressing ctrl uh with d 
boom, boom, boom. Let's just rename that F2. Good. Now we just have to say when we collide with the right wall, we spawn somewhere around over here overhead, like like we said, uh, plus 32 pixels. So this is about this. And because we have everybody centered, this will be perfectly fine. Good. Now we go to our OBJ snakehead. And we say collision with the teleporter down. So we just have to go over here and do add event collision objects and then choose each one. I'm going to do this real quick again and you just watch. Good. So just pretty much um, do this for the X. So when we hit the right wall, so this is for the right wall, actually, just go collision object, right wall, boom. Actually, no, uh, this is going to be the collision left wall right so from the left right but in the same thing for the other ones we go collision uh, collision objects for the right one we just add it and we say 16 boom that's it done easy we go uh up we just say uh y equals boom room height not width and then we go save and then we go collision objects, the upper, the bottom one. And we say for the bottom one, Y equals 16. Oh, wait, did we do something up wrong? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. This is all right, good. I was already, whoa. <laughs> oh, buddy. That's not how it should work. Good. Now it works. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to do this. I hope you didn't skip that. And, uh... I hope I see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Piggy won't like that at all. So there is one extra little thing you can do as well. And that is go to draw and go draw and just say draw. Um, draw to my deck.